Hi everyone, it's Video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget with George G. Harrison. And my original plan was I was going to show you some beautiful ice covered trees video today. But guess what? We were fortunate here in Ashbury. Yes, when I went to bed at 4 a.m., all the trees were covered with ice bending down the roofs of, of the, the homes and the cars. But guess what? On Sunday morning, at 11 o'clock, everything was gone. So, what I'm gonna do today, since I've already showed you the last two weeks, my HDR photos, I'm gonna do the same thing today, but, but today I'm gonna show you the entire process, from taking the picture, to putting them together, in, in Corel, to show them, show them to you on Facebook and YouTube. So now, let's get to taking some pictures. Using live view, we get the exposure we want, as you can see. I'm shooting on manual, focus, 1 60th of a second, F10. So now we'll go in our menu to set it up to do uh, multiple exposures. We go to the menu, scroll down till we get to HDR, we go over to HDR, and we go to where it, was, it says we're going to take five exposures with a 3.0 3 EV exposure difference between each exposure. Now that we've gotten our our focus and our exposure, we're going to go ahead and press the shutter see what we're going to get. As you can see, I'm using my finger to press the shutter release. And no, you do not get blurry pictures of movement, because remember, you're pressing the shutter release. You're not jumping up and down on it. We're going to take one more HDR photograph, just to give you a little variety. This is my mother's home, so she won't mind. Okay, now that we got our five photographs, and like you can see, I shot this at 60th of a second, F8. And again, I use my finger and not a wireless release. Why? Because everyone doesn't have a wireless release. And you are squeezing the shutter button. You're not jumping up and down on it. I'm going to open up Corel. We go here to File. Then we come down to HDR. We go what? Oops. We go to expose and merge. Okay, we're going to plus sign and click on it. And that opens up the memory card of the source we're going to, we're going to get our pictures from. So we scroll down. You can either use the, either the JPEG or the RAW. But for this demonstration, we're going to be using the RAW. Remember, we took five different exposures of each scene. Okay, then we'll open those up. These are the five pictures we took. We can automatically see that one's way too overexposed, so we automatically eliminate that one. And we'll take these four. We'll hit the line, just because in case the, in the tree limbs might have moved. Do those quick exposures. And we're still aligned, we hit process. And this is what you end up with. I mean, well, we're not in it, that's what you, you kind of start with. There are some presets you can use. I don't like to use presets because it make it look way, way too over processed. So we do it manually. We hit process again. Then here, if I want to open with the highlights, I think the highlights are fine. Shadows, I'm not going to bring up any shadow detail. But I will add a little saturation just a little. I always like to add a little clar clarity. Not much, just a little. Maybe just a little feel like. And we'll move. There really shouldn't be any digital noise during the day, but we'll take out we'll take out just a little. 22%. And we'll sharpen it just a little. And 
we're done. Of course, you can you can name it. I I just call it tree and cloud test. And when you hit save, and it's just that simple. Now we'll do the house, and then we'll go back outside. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and more importantly, learned something at this very quick tutorial from Santa Properly, how I do my HDR photos. Now, there's many different ways that you can do them, but this is the way that I do them. So you might pick a different way. Either way, the idea is it, it can be fun, it can be simple. It doesn't have to be that complicated. So if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the, hit the subscribe, in the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And also if you're watching this on Facebook, also turn on the notifications so you can get my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And one more thing, if you're like me, have you ever wondered about photographers when they're doing a vlog and they're talking about photography, a lot of times, the whole time they're just walking and talking and never show you anything about photography? Or is it case important to me, I'm talking about HDR photography, so what does my walking and talking have to do about it? Well, Yes, it does give you some information. Being, real, being realistic, we just probably like to see ourselves on camera. Let's just tell the truth. You know, that's what it is. We all have egos, and sometimes we just like to be seen. With that being said, I will see you Friday.